Okay, quick preview to that written challenge that you're going to do with drag and drop is this. When I lift click on a rock, you want to change its state to 1. When a rock has a state of 1, in the step method, it should tell itself to put itself wherever the mouse position is. So you can see it here following the mouse. And when I left click again, if it's in a state where it's being dragged, which is a state of 1, click, it turns the state to 0. That's step one of this challenge. Step two of the challenge is don't allow double rock pickups, which can sometimes happen if you have two rocks really close to each other and, oh, I can't do it here because I actually fixed it. But if you just do the basic version, watch out that you can't pick two rocks up at the same time. So that's the other part which is going to require that you keep track globally what the mouse is doing. Is the mouse currently dragging something or is it not currently dragging something? So if you take care of that, you get this behavior where there's no way you can pick up two rocks at once. The third part of the challenge is you can drop a rock in free space, but you can't drop a rock so it's touching another rock. Okay, you can drop it so it's touching a door but not so it's dropping a rock. Okay, rocks have to be separate of each other when they're dropped. And that's the challenge three parts. So follow the little written instructions for that one and have fun trying to do that one and check out the solution video if you have a little trouble. This is a good one to have in games, right? Drag and drop in inventory items, uh, drag and drop in power-ups, things like that, menu items, right? It's a good one to know how to do. Good luck.